Okay, it's beer o'clock. Again, on the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer from Beer Here, and it's a bottle of their Kremlin Crude Russian Imperial Stout, coming in at 10% ABV. Big old beer, this. Uh, plain gold cap. Let's get into a glass, see what it looks like, smells like, and tastes like. But first, the three finger heads. It's off white, it's jet black in the colour. Little bit of carbonation floating around in the glass. Let's get a nose on it. Oh wow, this is a really decent beer. This smells. This this smells of cherry. It smells roasted. These deep dark forest fruits coming from the hops. I say forest fruits, it's like a forest gato, I should say. Wow, but this is getting me excited. I'm going to dig into this one. Cheers, everyone. Wow. Just reviewed the sod, Scandinavian style porter, and that was very, very bitter. 7.5% ABV. This one here is. It's not as it's not as bitter. It's not as full on bitter. It's more of a rounded kind of fruity taste. But there is a level of bitterness in the beer. What I love about the beer, what I love about this look is the fact that you can rock the beer back and forth. There's loads of lovely, lovely carbonation small bubbles floating around the side of the glass really nice drink let's carry on it's much more mellow Basically, I, I normally go, if, if you've got a beer, I review about two beers a night, or two beers every other night. And I generally go, okay, if that's 7.5% ABV, I'll review that first. I'll review the 10% beer later on. Um, I don't read rate beer, I don't read Beer Advocate. Never have, probably never will. It's just not my bag. Um... I generally go on the ABV, with it being 2.5% more, this one I've left it till last. Um, thought it'd have a lot, lot more kind of flavour and body, but it seems like, as I've said, I've reviewed this first, this beer here is sod, and this one here has got a lot more kind of bang for the buck, loads more bitterness. Um, so it's going to take me a little while to keep drinking this and and really kind of reset my palate if you like so bear with me I'm picking up a lot more hops in this definitely some kind of all the seas cascade centennial loads of roastedness it's, it's almost like a big massive double Black IPA at 10%. It's got a lot of hop character, a lot of roasted malt. I'm trying to get rid of the head as well. Just to be able to get a better nose on the beer. Yeah, definitely a lot of hops. A lot of hops giving the bitterness, but it's quite a bit of fruit. There's quite a bit of roasted malt, and it just kind of all leans over to being a hugely bitter beer. It's a massive, massive bitter beer. This one. Um, if there's any, let's get the rest in that glass. But I want to see if there's any English here. Uh, decadent stout. 
inspired by the British. Okay, so it's an, it, it seems to be a British inspired Russian Imperial stat. And what's interesting is it says contains approximately four standard drinks. So it's that kind of big ABV that. Um, anyway, website for this brewery is www.beerhere.dk. I'm going to give this beer a rating. But again, to the beer chick. Don't give up just yet. Keep on going. If you've got a love for craft beer, don't let it die. Don't let a couple of trolls on the internet ruin your kind of craft beer experience. <clears throat> lovely and fruity, lovely and fresh. Fantastic beer. Love the roastedness. Love the levels of malt used, the roasted malt. It's a great beer. Um, for all them reasons, I give the last one a 9. I'm going to give it a 9 again. Um, it's a very, very different beer. That one's full on roasted, big kind of roastedness going on the sod. Um, this one is Kremlin crude. It's a lot fruitier. Um, it's an altogether different kind of Imperial stout. Best thing to do if you're an experienced craft beer drinker is to get the two bottles and experience them at the same time. If your liver lets you. Thanks for watching me, The Real Ale Guy. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to my daily beer reviews and cheers.